We all have that one moment in our lives where we are absolutely defined unequivocally in a way that leaves no doubt unequivocally terrified. Genuine terror. It's not a fun feeling. It's not an exhilarating feeling. It is just, oh, hey, Bindi. Hey, Bindi. It is a universal feeling. Much like happiness, sadness, <laughs> and every other feeling in the book. But terror is a different beast. Whether it be primal, like the hairs stand up on the back of your neck, or just like an illusion, like a night terror, which is what we are going to be getting into today. Night terrors are a completely different kind of terror. There are levels to it, as there are with anything else. Like, in happiness, you could say that you're happy to get a new phone. You could say that you're happy to get a drink of water after exercising. You could say that you're happy to meet your brother or husband or, or any other kind of family relative coming back from the services, you know? Like, that is another breed and other levels of happiness there. But terror can be almost fictional. In Night Terrors, you can see things that your brain makes up, right? You can see monsters, you can see things that like, it's kind of like a hallucination. It's just that Night Terrors are, they could be whatever your brain makes them up to be, and you know what you're afraid of, and your brain just goes to that one thing that you're afraid of, and to never ever hopefully ever see in your life and it just makes it up and it puts it into your room like a goddamn hologram most of my friends know this story so if you're one of my friends and you already know this story that i that i already told you i made sure i i told <laughs> almost everybody that i know about this but i realize i don't i haven't told it on youtube i may have said it in a live stream but who cares i also want to say that 104 days of beatabot is literally halfway done we are 50% done. Day 52 marks the middle, official middle, of 104 Days of Beatsbot, and it is a big deal. In this video, I started uh, posting the videos. Right now, we are on day 36. 36 is going up today, in about 20 minutes, actually. It's 12.42, and the videos go up at 104. My favorite video is day 29. Go watch that video after this video. Just like, you know, make that, make that video worth its while, you know what I mean? Like, it's an hour long, just make sure you watch the whole thing. <laughs> you could say that there have been many times that I've been terrified or scared or something like um now i thought long and hard about this about what would be the most terrifying moment of my life that i genuinely felt in danger i genuinely believed what was happening because it's a night terror you know like you believe everything when you're just waking up or when you're dreaming you believe everything in there especially when you don't have control over your dreams like i do <laughs> yeah i thought long and hard about this and i can't think of any other moment that has stuck with me the longest out of the the this, this, this night terror that I'm about to tell you. So basically, I'm gonna just get started. Hey, Pindy. So I'm sleeping. I go to bed this night. I can't remember what I do, what I'm doing before I sleep, what triggered this dream or this nightmare, night terror, but I go to bed. I think I'm stressed out. I have some kind of, some sort of stress on me from classes. I wasn't happy and then I wake up I wake up in the middle of the night the the room my room has sort of a blue hue to it some sort of blue vibey dead color my my room is painted blue but maybe it it, it just some everything was just amplified but also like sharpened and blurred it was weird so in my dream when I'm woken up I turn over and I'm looking around and I hear something. The way that the hall light uh, shines in the hallway, illuminating the door of my room, because I left my door open at this point, it was hot. I saw like a shadow go, go past the wall, like the hallway light, and I see it from my room. That's terrifying. I, I tried to wait, and I tried to yell for mom and dad, right? I waited out first to see if I see it again. I hear like some sort of thumping in the living room, which is the room I'm in right now. I hear something, like a thud. Try yelling, it won't come out. It started off as a whisper, a loud whisper, and then I try, every time I try, I hear the voice of the thing that was coming from this very room. I'm getting chills right now just saying it. And I hear her say the name Nathan. 
Nathan. Why Nathan? Who's Nathan? There's nobody that I know that is named Nathan. I don't know anybody named Nathan. And the louder that I try to scream, the louder that the lady, the witch lady, says Nathan. And it's like, I don't know how to describe the voice. It was legit like a witch. I think I dreamt about a witch. She said Nathan like that, but it wasn't like a cartoony witch. It was like a a more a more casual witch, like not a cartoony stereotypical witch. So as I'm freaking out in in silence, I work up the courage to ask this thing a question. And then I ask it, "Why are you here?" And then it says, "You make me sick." And that's and that's pretty much it. And then I wake up for real this time. I scream for mom and dad and they stay asleep. And then, I, and then I start thinking, was that real? Did the lady, was the lady actually here and I actually woke up? And then I, I fall back asleep and then that's it. I wake up in the morning and then I remember the, this whole thing and it was a crazy night that night and that was one of the most scariest things that I've ever experienced in my life. It, it was as if the lady could see me through the wall and it, it was as if she knew everything that I was doing and, and she knew how I was, you know, reacting to things and then she took advantage of that and then made it even scarier. It was insane, but you know, now that I think about it, it was like a dream because you know when you dream, you know how you feel, and then your brain is like, I know you're afraid of lions, but I'ma still put you in a lion cage. I don't know why that happens to me. I have literally no control whatsoever of my dreams, and it pisses me off. I could be dreaming and realize that I'm dreaming, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm dreaming. Don't think about spiders. And then spiders come raining down on me. Like, what the hell? I think it was different this time because I couldn't think about like how this could be a dream and how this could be fake and how I could be completely safe. It's like I knew I was dreaming, but then I woke up and I was like, okay, I must be awake now. So, and then everything that happened afterwards felt so real. And I honestly thought that there was either like a home intruder or some sort of supernatural shit that I, that was actually happening. I was like, okay. Well, the supernatural is real. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't convince myself. It was impossible because I thought that I woke up. And those kind of dreams are the worst. Those are the worst because you think it's over. And then little do you know, you're still in the night terror. And every time it was like, it was just like, <laughs> and it was like, it was so freaking scary. And it was like, okay, maybe if I scream loud enough, she'll she'll know that I'm trying to scream. Like every time I tried to let it out, it wouldn't come out, but it would come out through the woman's mouth. So uh, maybe if I say it loud, if I try to do it loud enough, then she'll say it loud enough, and then that's where my that's when my parents will hear it, and then they'll wake up, and then it'll like you know everything will happen, and then I'll wake up, I'll be able to talk again. But uh, nobody heard me. Besides the scary witch lady, and that was the most terrifying thing ever. I thought long and hard about this, and it was just like... To, and to remind you of the setting, my room didn't look friendly either. Everything about everything was scary, the same, but off somehow. And also, the question that kept going through my mind is, who the fuck is Nathan? I, I wanted to say, dude, you got the wrong guy, man. I'm not Nathan. <laughs> I think even when she was like... Nathan. The first time I was like, what? And then I was like, I was trying to listen to make sure I heard it. And then I tried saying something and then, it, and then it happened again and it scared me. It startled me. And then I'm like, who's Nathan? I mouthed to myself. And then, you know, everything after that happened. But yeah, I thought long and hard about this. I was thinking maybe one of the camping videos. In Camping 2, in the video that I recommended you at the beginning of this video, the wind and rain was scary. It, it was high, and it was raining so hard. The wind was blowing hard, and I was like, someone could just be standing right here, messing with my tent, and I wouldn't even know it. I could, someone could be walking up to me, and I wouldn't even know it. Uh, and I swear to God, dude, the wind sounds like footsteps some of the time. And I would say that that's scary, but I I think that this night terror that I had is scarier because it was within my home. That's deep if you think about it. It's deep. But anyway, happy halfway of 104. Happy halfway. We're halfway there. It is only 36 days in and to be honest dude, I'm starting to feel burnt out. I have videos all the way up to like 70 and, and 80s and just scattered across towards the end made already and I have 
22 videos left to make. 21 now, if you count this one. Uh, but I'm feeling burnt out. I'm feeling very burnt out. All I gotta do is upload, to be honest. But yeah, all I gotta do is upload, to be honest. You know, even even so, like, I still have videos to make on top of that. And I'm feeling so tired, and I wanna be just a, a hermit again. I wanna be aloof and not worry about nothing. And the, the, there's a few people, like, uh, a few, like, a solid four people who come and watch the videos and like them, enjoy them. And I couldn't be happier about that, right? But yeah, I really want new visitors to the channel. I want all that sort of stuff, but you know. I beat my streak, my uploading record. Uh, I, uplo I, I uploaded a lot towards the beginning of Beeps We Bought, like in 2016 and stuff. I uploaded a lot, but those videos weren't as good as, you know, 104. But, so I'ma count this as my record. Oh, it's one o'clock. New video goes up in four minutes. That's the uh, news reporter said what? It's that video going up today. But yeah, I will see you guys later. I hope I get better. I hope I be happier. Let me know your s scary moments, the most terrifying moments of your life in the comments below. Let me know. I would love to hear it and maybe I'll read them for a video. Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks you so thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. Beep tweet bot.